Okay, in this demonstration I'm going to show you how to take an acidity reading using a basic acid titration kit. First let me do this claim that there's three basic methods usually used by the home winemaker to test for acidity. And uh, method one is a basic acid titration kit like this. Uh, the other way would be to use this kit in tandem with a pH meter. And the, other, the third way would be to use the HANA acidity titrator. It's a machine that will take 30 seconds to give you a highly accurate uh, TA reading as well. Um, so let me just be clear, this is the poor man's method. So with that, we're going to take 15 cc's of juice. And in this case, this is a Cabernet Sauvignon white grape. just picked up fifteen cc's and we put that into our test jar this is of the uh, best juice after you've sweetened it uh, this came pre-crushed already and everything for me so I admit um, from here I'm just taking the basic readings before I get it going so after I have 15 cc's in there, I will take three drops of this color solution. One, two, three. And then we just kind of swirl it around in there to get good, get it good and mixed up. And now I'm going to wash out the syringe and I'm going to get 10 cc's of sodium hydroxide in here so I'm going to shut off the camera for a second while I clean out the syringe okay like magic nice and clean now I'm going to draw 10 cc's of sodium hydroxide into the syringe and we want to be real accurate when you get these lines get them right up where they belong and the reason will be clear in just a moment So here I have 10 cc's. Now, uh, just for ease, I'll read you off the box what it's saying. We're going to add drops of the sodium hydroxide into the juice vial, and we will agitate it, slowly add the drops in, and um, as the neutralizer is being added to the sample, um, you want to keep doing it until a slight color change is noted and remain. So continue adding the sodium hydroxide a very small amount at a time, agitating the vial with each addition until a deep dark small until a deep dark color change is noted and an additional drop of neutralizer doesn't cause or affect the darker color. This indicates the end point has been reached. And so for each one cc of sodium hydroxide required to attain the color change, it indicates 0.1% of acid expressed as tartaric. So if 5 cc's neutralizer is needed to attain the end color change, the acidity is 0.5%. So with that, and again, can't do it too fast. you got to agitate it in there to make sure. And it's good to do it over a white background. That's kind of why I chose this bucket, so that you can kind of see this color change when it occurs. Don't get ahead of yourself on this. This is where you, again, a couple drops at a time until you notice the color change. So what it's doing is it's, you know, we added the color solution in here and as much as it takes to consume the hydroxide to change the color, that's um, the final acidity reading. Again, this is not as accurate as we'd like it to be as home winemakers but I believe it's a test you can't ignore. You have to have a general idea. Just in general, fruit wines usually are 0.60%, red grape wines are 0.65%, and white grape wines are 0.75%, um, again, in general. So we are at We're almost at 5%. And here we go. I'm starting to get the color change. You kind of see it sitting there at the top. 
So what I do is I swirl this and watch it kind of watch the color kind of go away. So I'm going to do a little more. Now we should start seeing dark color changes. There we go. Starting to change. Again, so we're just approaching point six. And so I think we're here we go, there's noteworthy change. Here it goes. Kind of turning the green blue. It's probably hard to see on the camera, but it's a note, a really notable change. Okay, when this stuff, when this gets to the dark color and doesn't seem to be getting any darker, again, this is where you slow up. Getting our color change now. So really, this stuff is just perfect. I am at I am at 0.75 percent. I mean, that's a, the suggested. See that? That is the suggested acidity right off the box for a white grape wine. So, you know, when you buy in the juice buckets like this, um, they really have everything pretty perfect. Um, one, if, if, when, when you get it, if your acidity and your, your uh, pH is okay and your starting gravity, you're ready to go. Get, make sure that your must is at the temperature to start fermenting. And, uh, that's all there is to it. So in sum, if you have a pH meter, now's the time to use it. Uh, my batteries were dead, so that's why I didn't get it out. But in general, if your TA is okay, and your starting gravity, your, your sugars are okay, then in general your pH is probably okay. Uh, there's things that can affect that. For example, if there's a lot of rain before harvest, uh, it starts adding complexities to the matter. But for the home winemaker, in general, that's a good rule to follow.